good morning, everyone. It's a great occasion and it's a privilege and honor for me to be present here amongst you and share the stage with the dignitaries here, Shri 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 Nirmala Nandanatha Mahaswamiji, Reverend Shri Shri Dr. Prakash Nata Swamiji, and all the dignitaries on the stage, deans and department heads. I would like to thank SJB, Institute of Technology, School of Architecture and Planning, to have given me this opportunity to be part of the 20th graduation day ceremony and the 7th graduation day ceremony of SJB SAP. What connects me personally with SJB IT, it's the commitment to the society and the core values that the institute represents, a rare blend of core Indian values and modern technical education to aspiring technocrats to lead a purposeful life. And the mission statement of the institute well represents that. And I'm sure it's this inner inexplicable connection with the values of this institution, including humility, honesty, integrity, teamwork, gratitude, human dignity and innovation that drew you to this class of SJBA. And what a stupendous job ought to have been done by the institute to attract this pool of talent which started probably with a, about 100 students 25 years back, which is now over 4,000 students in number today. Let me start by congratulating all the students who are graduating today. A big round of applause to all of you. I would also like to congratulate and thank all the parents, grandparents present here for their support, encouragement, motivation to ensure the students complete their engineering degree and succeed in it. The institute has come a long way, perhaps leaps and bounds, with the number of patents that have been submitted and the numbers that have been granted. Today, this graduating students you are at a very exciting threshold of your new journey where each one of you in your individual capacity is going to script your own unique story for yourself. You have a minimum of three to four decades of active work life in front of you and during this time, India will emerge as the third largest economy in the world. Our GDPs are going to grow and you're going to play a significant role in this extraordinary growth phase of India. You will play a pivotal role in the reimagination of India. And if you uh, take a look at the startup ecosystem, what was just about a 500 startups few years back, today there is a lakh and 17,000. We are number three in the number of unicorns and number two in the number of startups in the world. So, um, I would like to um, express three messages to you. My first one being, irrespective of whichever domain or industry you choose your career to be in, technology will transform everything around you and this will create a lot of opportunities. I've worked intensely in the BFSI domain in the, the off, with multiple accounts in United States and if you talk about the technology now today there are drones that does half the in surveillance work that used to be manually done by human beings. If you talk of healthcare domain, there are drones to collect specimen with just a click of a button of a, of, in a mobile phone, you can detect retinopathy by the eye picture. So that's where the technology has taken us. When it comes to retail, there is magic mirrors, click and collect, no touch devices, metaverse, smart washrooms, driverless cars, etc., etc. To talk a little bit about generative AI, which is the most discussed topic today, it is disrupting the world. In the computing history, it's always humans who are trying to understand computer. And this is probably the first time where the computer is trying to understand human and the interface being a natural language. So this uh, new generative bot, probably you would have heard about the Jugalbandi bot, which is of help 
to a villager, say in a Bihar or a student who is trying to get scholarship through the government policies. It's amazing. I represent Cognizant and Cognizant and Oxford Economics. We have run a study of 18,000 tasks, about 1,000 occupations. And what really is happening with every task and every occupation that has exposure to AI? We took each job, listed down the tasks, and what is the significance of each of these tasks is more important and which is less. And there is a bubble chart that was drawn with the exposure score and the friction score. In essence, it states that AI will bring trillion dollars by 2032, but at the same time, 52% of the jobs have an exposure of more than 25%, which means that 25% of the jobs of today will go through a disruption. This document, this uh, is available in public domain. So I would request all of you to please read it. It will give an insight into the future of work. So to sum up my first message, technology is disrupting business models in every industry and every domain. You have to lead with deep technology, be it AI, data, cloud, IoT. They are not part of the solution, but they lead the change itself. So be ready to lead this change is very critical. So take the technology first approach to in everything you do. My second message to you is others won't lead you. You need to lead yourself. And this comes under the professional dimension, I would say. And this is something probably you would have heard multiple times, right? You need to set a goal for yourself, maybe two years from now or three years from now. And you have to work steadfast towards working towards that goal. And you need to continuously review your goal, say, every month, once the same day, and create pathways to move towards it. You need to be self-driven. Your mentors and your parents and your teachers, they can only provide guidance, but they are not accountable for it. And you need to seek opportunities to get closer to your goal. My third point is it's not just about the goal or the destination, but it is also very important is the journey or the experience that you build. I'm not sure how many of you would have read about this book called Ikigai. It talks about the Japanese secret to a long and happy life. How do you live in the moment? For example, say you're reading a book and you forget about everything that is going on around until we notice that the sun has set, you've not had your dinner, you're completely immersed in the experience. And this is what Ikigai calls as the state of flow or a state of delight, creativity and process when we are completely immersed in it. Today is all that you have and you need to make most of it to make it worth remembering. So problems will come and go. You will be, your pro be it your projects, your program, your personal life, but do not forget to build a community of friends. Don't, do not forget to build your network in the process. And most of all, enjoy the journey. Be humble. Show your gratitude, compassion towards others. Build trust with those around you be it your team members, your supervisor, your client, your partner, your family members and relatives. Life will be full of twists and turns, but you need to be ready to take it on. It's important to live a life of meaning and purpose, making a difference to others and enjoying it to the core. Journal your life one day at a time. Write down three things that you did today that brought a smile to others. Do that every day. Believe me, this will bring magic to your life. So to sum up, technology, choose technology first approach in everything you do. Second, others are not going to lead you. You need to lead yourself. And third, it's not just about the goal or destination. It's about the journey and the experience you build. It's been a great privilege for me to be here, to see each one of you to
script your own story it's a personal journey and it will it's going to be a beautiful journey of discovery of your purpose that each one of you is going to start plan with a clear mind and once you are decided and launched on an undertaking be firm and unmoved by difficulties and avoid devouring in action as you build your life find time to do what you enjoy the most pursuing an art or doing a social service and get astonished by small things in life these are ways to expand your potential the wish that i have for each of you the graduating class is to become tremendously successful and become the embodiment of the core values of sjb which is to become empowered men and women who are self reliant has high self esteem and transform into technocrats who are ready to face any challenge that life throws at you while living a purposeful life thank you all of you from the bottom of my heart for giving me this opportunity to be part of you in this event and showering me with all your love and affection wishing you all the very best thank you